what's going on, dudes and dudettes. Y'all know who this is, your boy, Nicholas Harper, a.k.a. Big Nick. Here to do another video for you good folks out there. Gotta stay hydrated. All right, I'm here. I guess I mentioned uh, bad coils. And if you sub on me, you know you done ran across a couple. Uh, see? Clear, clear liquid. Same liquid, no? Now look. See the difference? This shit here look like almost like some tea. And this here is the same liquid now. These are the same liquids. So you know something ain't right with this one. And they the same liquid, same e-juice, whatever. I had the bottle, but I forgot to bring it. And you could tell when you vaping it, the burnt, oh, excuse me, the burnt taste and everything. This here is bad. But I also had another coil in it uh, earlier and this liquid was darker actually than this hill so this was like i mean real dark i mean this is kind of light the way you see me holding it up but with this coil in it was real dark so i popped this coil out put the other coil in and the other coil seemed to be burnt or bad too and uh yeah i know we all about vap vaping on the budget but see that just that don't look right it's, it's too different got clear in this, see? And they just, it's the same e-juice. See what I'm saying? So, core bad, core burnt. I don't know. I'm assuming. Sometimes certain e-liquids I've experienced tend to react different with certain coils. So, I don't know if that's the case. Um, I will, you know, do my usual method, probably cleaning it or try and clean it. And, um, uh, you know, probably not put this much e liquid back in, but just a little bit, just to see if me cleaning it was was uh was the case, cause both of these was clean coils, and I put it in the tank, put the liquid in the tank, and liquid didn't turn colors, and I was vaping and vaping, and like, this is not right. I'm not liking this. You know, I'm not all real big on you know herbs, and I uh, get a hint of this and a hint of that. But, you know, if it's not tasting right then, I'm like, what else? I can't do that. So, I brought up my big boy, my 350 block, big boy engine, my mega tank. And I've been, I've been messing with it until I can uh, get these coils figured out to see if it's, they need to be clean and just use a different e-liquid in this tank with these coils or just the coils just shot the hell all together. You know, do I need to replace them? Because, you know, we all about vaping on a budget, but I'm not vaping stuff that look like that. You turn my liquid from this, you know, to this. No, nah, that ain't cool. And again, so it could be the coils burnt bad or whatever. I'm assuming. So I might have to look into that. So bad coils. So y'all just be careful. Watch out for it. I know my liquid supposed to look like this. So when I'm vaping and stuff go to looking different then, I gotta do something about it. It's all about being like being safe and protecting yourself. You know what I'm saying? All of these are mechanical, you know, stuff put together. So you gotta make sure, you know, you're paying attention to what you're doing. Like anything else, whether it be drinking alcohol, know your limit, you know, having sex, same thing. Look, having sex is like one of the biggest risks taking things out that you can do, but you still do it. You just hope you got you a good partner, you know what I'm saying? I hope this chick on the up and up, you know, because when it's feeling good, it's feeling good. I get it, but it's, it's, just, it's the same with vaping, you know what I'm saying? Read your coils, know your equipment, the whole nine. Do your research. I do a whole lot of research on YouTube, Google, whatever. So like this here. This coil I got in here, I think, is it go from 25 to 30 watts. 
know what I got it on? 30 watts. Know what I'm saying? So I can always up the voltage, but my ceiling is 30 watts. Now I've known in the past, I, you know, in the past, I went over, like let's say this 30, I might go 31 or 32, but I keep it on the lower end. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not trying to vape, you know, blow your head off and do some crazy shit. And then it's like, oh my God, let me vape, you know, let me blame the makers of this when I was in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? When I was effing up, I wouldn't, you know, abide by the rules that they put on these things, you know, these, these devices, the limit, the limitation. I wanted to push it. So if I do that, I'm not finna blame nobody but myself. So I'm just here to let y'all know about bad coils and make sure. Yeah, I reading your coils, you know, if you're sub omen like me, because I ain't got into dripping yet like that. But if you're sub omen, make sure you know your limits on your coils, your tanks, your box mod, the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? It just take a little bit of time. You know what I'm saying? Just to read some numbers, you know, and you know, just play with your device and make sure this is comfortable with me. You know, and that's how I do. See, I got this 30 watts at four volts. Push the limit slow. This is fine. See, 30 watts at 4 volts. You know what I'm saying? I could up the voltage if I want, but you know, just you gotta know your limitations, and that's with everything. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's what I did with that coil. You know, I got a I got a new coil that I had clean and ready to go, and I looped it up. And I had stuck it in. Come on, man. Can y'all not go there? And not, it just, y'all just got dirty minds. Oh, it's not y'all? Oh, it's just me? Okay, you might be right. I mean, I am a Capricorn, so hey, you know what I'm saying? It ain't my fault, you know, I'm a Capricorn. But anyway, I had, uh, you know, you know, primed it up and I put it in. The other one, and this is what I came out with, and I'm like, no, nah, man, this ain't what's up. This ain't cool. You see, it's still almost where I had feel that I'm not vaping that. So I got to break it down, clean my tank, clean my coils, and go through the process again. And if I had that same situation with another liquid, I'm like, okay, scratch that. Them coils gone. I got to order me some more. But I got my Mega, and I got my Kegger tank over there, so I'm good. But... Just to let y'all know, don't be vaping stuff if it's looking like that. This how the liquid's supposed to look. If your liquid looking like this, you know, nine times out of ten, your coil messed up, your coil went bad. So don't vape it. Clean it if it helps, fine. If not, scratch it. Scratch that and order another one. And that's the good thing I like about sub omen, because coils are really not that expensive. Let's be honest. I mean, they start at what buck fifty, probably go up to three, four bucks. You know, not that bad. And then if you take care of it, you can use them for a long time. And that's what I'm saying about this coil is 30 watts. Keep it there and I'm fine. Now, when I go to try and jack it up, jack it up, jack it up, and I'm just trying to blow hella clouds, mega clouds, you know, wearing and tearing. And for you know it, I done burnt it out, you know, quicker than I normally would if I would just vape it at the normal. You see what I'm saying? If I just keep it at the norm, I'm fine. But I, I ain't trying to impress nobody. But, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm a peeps. But, you know, I know the limit. I know my limit. want to make this a quick video no it probably wasn't quick i don't know whatever who cares just to let y'all know about bad coils you know try and spot it early if you can and you know and then fix it and then fix the problem 
you know, and know your limits on your coils, know your limits on your tanks, know your limits on your box mod. See, I'm still rocking old reliable MVP 3.0 Pro and my Mega, so just know your limitations on your devices, you know what I'm saying? Because anytime you put something in your body that's not supposed to, or whatever, you know the word I'm looking for. You really got to make sure, you, you know, you're protecting yourself. And how can you protect yourself? You know what I'm saying? Knowledge is power. So you can't actually, you know, put on a, you know what I'm saying, uh, a Jimmy hat for this, but you get my thing. You know, the Jimmy hat for this is knowledge. So the more you know about your tank, the more you know about your coil, the, know, the more you know about your box mod, you know, will help you, you know, vape for a long time with no issues. Man, I've been doing this crap, shoot, almost two years. I never had no mishaps. Because I YouTube, I Google, I do research on whatever I'm doing to make sure I'm doing it right. Just like riding a bicycle. Yeah, it's easy as riding a bike. But if you ask don't know how to ride a bike, you'll go out there and try and jump a speed bump and kill yourself. It ain't that simple, is it? See, if you don't know what you're doing. But y'all my dudes, y'all my dudes, y'all know. Just trying to keep it a little real. A little real. <laughs> but... See how I just keep rambling? It's supposed to be a quick video, but y'all my, my dudes, and y'all my do that, so y'all stay locked in, because you know, I'm a little whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm just like y'all, so don't be judging me. But um, this is your boy, Nicholas Hopper, a.k.a. Big Nick. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, I know, I'm going to keep them coming. Vape all day, and vape on a budget. You know, that's how we roll. Till I see y'all again, my lovely dudes and dudettes.